Alrighty, hi guys, my name is Camry, and I'm going to be showing you the founder that I was assigned to, so I'm going to share my screen. So the founder I was assigned to is Dr. William Rush Dutton Jr. He was born in July 24th, 1868, and he died in December 23, 1966. He died at 98 years old, so that was it's that's pretty old. And he spent um, his professional life in Baltimore. He also was married and had three children. Here's a picture of what he looked like. And over here, I put um, the definition of occupational therapy as we know it as today, which is basically like occupational therapists um, treat the injured, the ill, and also they could treat disabled patients through the therapeutic use of everyday activities. So helping them uh, brush their teeth again, wash their hair, get dressed, and they help these patients develop, recover, improve, and as well as maintain their skills needed to get them back into their daily um, living and also their working situations. And then um, right down here, I have William's view on occupational therapy. Basically, um, Dunton healed his patients through his perfect purposeful activities known then as daily occupations and is still known today as that. Um, in 1917, he was one of the many individuals who believed in the healing properties of engaging activities. Uh, Dr. William Dutton is known as the father of o occupational therapy. He was also a psychiatrist and an educator who published the first account of the occupational therapy profession. He attended Harvard at the University of Pennsylvania as a medical um, student, and it was a medical school also. He witnessed the healing potential of occupational therapy with his own clients and published a manual for nurses on how OT should be utilized in 1915. Uh, William Dutton was a founder and early president of the American Occupational Therapy Association, which is now known as AOTA, and he is also very well known for his um, collection of American quilts, and he is very known for his scholarship. So yeah, this is him um, and what he looked like, and then I added this little occupational therapy picture down here. And then basically, um, I think it's a, it really important to understand the founders um, all like in their different ways. Um, if they are different or if they're similar, um, learning about these founders makes me feel very encouraged and hopeful because I could see all of their legacies are all pretty much still known today. Um, they were all super creative, smart, and determined in their own ways, and we could all still share the things they have created within today's society. Um, it is very interesting to read about everything these founders have created for us and how we still use most of their skills today. Um, and doing this assignment um, teaches me a lot about our history where our, where occupational therapy actually came from instead of just learning what we're taught now. And it's very interesting to know the background behind occupational therapy and who the people were that actually created it. And we always kind of wonder in life, like, who came up with um, this type of stuff? And um, this assignment definitely gives me more knowledge and makes me feel very happy with the career choice I am deciding to choose for the rest of my life. So, thank you.